Hey YouTube, no shame. And today we are picking up another console. Uh, we actually pick it up from Offer Up. Uh, the negotiations with this person weren't that great. He didn't really want to budge. He didn't want to go down at all. But the console with the video games and controllers and everything it included was a pretty uh, good enough deal to the point where um, I'm just gonna buy it at full asking price. I'm gonna let you guys know what I picked it up for in just a moment. Once I pick it up, I'll show you guys what it all included. I just picked up this console. The process was a smooth process. The console looks to be a little bit dirty, but that's about it. Um, the person gave me their address to their home. I went inside their house to pick it up, so everything should work smoothly. Uh, once I get home, I will show you guys what I got, and I'll tell you guys what I paid for everything. Hey guys, I just made it home, and why not? Let's do this video outside. It's a nice enough day to where we can make this video out here. So, let's have a look and see what console I picked up. You guys already know, Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles right now. There's a lot of them out for sale, and people are letting them go for a really uh, good price. Um, the games, more than anything, you can find a ton of games for a great price. So, we have an Xbox here. I don't know how many gigabytes. We're going to connect it in just a moment. We'll find out how many gigs. Of course, you have the power brick. It comes with the connect. RCAs, HDMI cord, two controllers, and let's just dump everything in here. Why not? Let's see how many games we have. Let's start out with this guy here. So we have Connect Adventures. All right, so there's one. Spider-Man. Web of Shadows. I don't have that one, so I'll be keeping that. Batman, I have this. You guys may have seen a video where I picked this up. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Don't have that. So we are at a total of four so far. Call of Duty Black Ops. Crisis 2. Don't have that. That'll be going to the collection. Borderlands 2. I have this, so that'll be selling. We have a Platinum hit. Ghost Recon 2. I don't have it. I'll be keeping that as well. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Another copy of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So one of those will be going away. I'll be keeping one. Army of Two Overkill Edition. Not sure what that's all about, but I'll keep this one here. Another Connect Adventures. For some reason, there's two of these. And we have a FIFA World Cup South Africa. So, in total, we have a total of, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... So a total of 13 games, I paid a total of $60. What do you guys think for this pickup? Did I pay a good price? Did I get ripped off? All right, next let's go ahead and test out the gaming console. Let's make sure this bad boy works. All right guys, so moment of truth. We have the Xbox 360 ready to go. Xbox is connected and I also connected the Connect. I have not yet tried anything out, so we're gonna be doing this together. I don't know if the Xbox works or not, so let's check it out. We're going to be starting with the 360 controller. All right, now, I haven't booted one up with a controller in a while, so I think if you hold on to the home button, it takes a while for it to boot up. Yep, there it is. So far, it's looking good. We have a picture on the TV, and looks like the uh, Xbox has a green uh, red, uh, I'm sorry, green ring, so no red ring of death. The only reason that had me so concerned is if because if you guys have not yet watched, I uploaded a video of a 360 that I bought. It was a limited edition Modern Warfare 3 edition that had the Red Ring of Death. 
that one would power off immediately. It would stay on for about five seconds. It would power off. So, so far, this one is looking really good, guys. Now, there's a few things that I wanted to try out before I actually um, insert a game. First thing is I want to find out how many gigabytes this is. The person I bought it from had no idea how many gigs. So, let's go all the way over to settings. We're going to go into system. Go down to storage. Nice. This is a 250 gigabyte model, so plenty of storage for plenty of games. That's that's a score right there, guys. Next, I connected the connect like I told you guys, as you guys can see there on the bottom right hand corner. The connect is connected, so let's try and make sure it works. We're gonna try and uh, turn it off. Xbox, shut off. Cancel. Xbox, turn off. No. All right, so there you go, guys. Xbox, uh, the Connect uh, is working, which is great news. So next, we're going to go ahead and pop in a disc. We're going to see if it actually works or not. I believe we can actually pop in a disc from the home screen. We're going to go all the way back. Open tray. Whoops. Selected the wrong thing. Now that's a really cool feature that I like about these 360s that you can open the tray from the home screen. There's a tray open and I left a game out on purpose so we can try it out. We're going to be testing out as if it's not scratched enough, right guys? We're going to be testing out Ghost Recon 2. Let's look at the condition of this guy here. Yeah, definitely scratch and I added to those scratches right now. So, oh well. It is what it is. Let's insert, close, and let's see if this guy actually works or not. Fingers crossed, come on now. Now, as this boots up, I wanted to show you guys something. So, in the post, they didn't mention anything about an additional game, so, I opened the case here to find that there was an extra game in here. It came with Aliens vs. Predator. No case on this, but this is a really um, kind of a more expensive title for 360. On eBay, on the low end, it sells for about $20. So, hey, I'll take it all day, every day, but unfortunately, not in the best shape. Good lord, that scratched. Yeah, these people that own the console did not take care of the games. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get that resurfaced because it's probably not going to play, but it's a score to find that game anyways. I don't see it out in the open all that often. So far, it's looking really good, guys. It sounds like it's nice and quiet. We still got a green light on that ring. Let's select new campaign. I just want to get the story mode um, started. It, it looks like it wants us to select a profile. I don't have one, so I'm just going to exit out and see if it'll allow me to continue. Thinking about it, guys, $60 wasn't a bad price to pay for this at all. It's a 250 gigabyte. It came with two controllers, the Connect. It came with about 14 games, so not a bad deal at all so yep there we go the game is working properly so guys this was a success i appreciate it guys thanks for watching if you have not subscribed subscribe there's more great content to come guys i hope everybody has a beautiful day or night take care guys